Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, everybody out there, YouTube land. This is Maz, and we're coming to you with another episode of Maz's Toy Box. Today, we're going to try to do some photography. Since we're stuck in the house anyway, we're going to take some pictures, uh, and I'm going to go through some of my process with you. Hopefully, you all enjoy it. i got to record with the phone, though, because the camera's busy doing real camera stuff and instead of shooting my really bad videos. Go figure. So we're shooting today with the Canon EOS M50. This is not the lens that comes on this camera. This is a lens that I bought after the fact. This is a 32 millimeter uh, EFM lens. It's a 1.4 f-stop on it. It's a really, really beautiful lens. And actually, since this is a crop sim sensor, I, this is where I start kind of talking uh, a little bit more about what I don't know, but bear with me. Since this is a crop sensor, uh, instead of being a 32 millimeter lens, it's actually uh, more like, I think, 51 millimeters. So this is really, for one six scale photography, this is probably one of the best lenses I could suggest. I got a 100 millimeter lens, um, but I got to shoot all the way across the room to hit this thing and get any uh, scale of the figure involved. If I want to do face shots, of course, I can get closer, but uh, I feel that that lens is a little... It's not as sharp as this lens is, so really I, I use this lens more than more than anything else. This is actually cheaper than the 100 millimeter lens. So for the Canon EF uh, EFM mount, this is definitely a lens I would suggest. Now I got on here an ND filter. So what this is going to do, since I I use a lot of vape in my uh, my pictures, what this is going to do is allow me to keep my my lens open longer when I take a shot, so it slows my shutter speed down. Uh, like eight seconds or six seconds, depending on how much light I'm getting, um, which is going to allow my vape to be more of a foggy atmosphere than a straight up textured smoke. It's just going to add uh, kind of a, a lighting play uh, with the picture more than anything else. So I like running with the ND filter. It actually uh, helps mitigate a lot of the uh, the unwanted highlights you get from some of the lights you're using. I don't usually shoot with this main light on. I'll usually shoot with these other lights over here. Um, these are newer, is the name of the brand, newer. Uh, these square ones, you see one over here. I think a pair of them cost me 40 bucks, which isn't bad. Now, I also use these uh, Loom Cubes. And I've put little stickers on here for the number of the, the, uh, the actual cube. So when I sync it up with my phone, which we're not going to do today because I'm using my phone, um, when I sync it up with my phone, I'll know which one's which because it goes by the order in which you turn them on to sync up with the phone. Pretty cool. Um, this comes with a whole bunch of different gels and stuff like red, blue, green, and yellow, and then warming gels. It doesn't come with any cooling gels, though. So the blue that it comes with is way too overpowering as a blue, uh, as a cooling blue. Um, that's where these come into play, really. I, I could buy cooling gel and put it over here, but uh, these actually came with cooling gels, and I like to use these a lot to give me more of a, an atmospheric light, and then these to give me a specific point light. So these kind of work like a softbox light for me, and then these are more specific lighting, because I got a snoot I can throw on here, I got uh, grids I can throw on here, all that kind of stuff. So I like these little guys. These are expensive though. These are about $70 a pop. I bought the kits that are <clears throat> $300 for a pair of these and they come with all the different uh, diffusers and uh, gels and, and everything else. So they come with pretty much everything you'd need. And it's like a $200 kit with a carrying case or actually three, 300, it's $299. Uh, I bought two of those kits. Call me crazy, right? But uh, these are great lights. They're very portable. They're rechargeable. Whereas the newer, the ones that I have here, I have to plug in. So they're plugged in via USB to a USB charger. And that can be annoying at times. At times, we have trouble with that, especially when cables start intertwining and then something falls over and then everything falls over. It's not fun. So we're going to take some shots, I think, of the Elder Predator today. Um, I don't know. I haven't had any plans for them yet. I just kind of grabbed them. 
we're gonna take some shots of them. This is one of my one of my favorites to shoot when you, especially when you come in close. The face, I love his face. It's a got it's got a great, just menacing, awesome face. Um, he does not have replaceable mandibles though, so he only has the one look. He doesn't have a helm. He doesn't have any other real change. So it's all about the angle in which you put this face and the lighting in which you put it on there. Now these lights, I may not leave these two on, just they're on right now so I can see them on the camera. And we pulled out my old iPhone, we're on the new iPhone here, pulled out the old iPhone to control the camera. That way uh, I don't have to worry about when I hit my shutter, especially if I'm going at a slow shutter speed, it won't get any kind of vibration or anything from me pressing the shutter button. So we're gonna go ahead and take this out and take a look at it. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, I know a lot of people that follow my Instagram ask me uh, how I get my smoke effects or whatever. So we're going to go through that. And uh, I hope you guys stay tuned and enjoy. I know there's a long intro part, but hey, what, what, are, we, what are we also going to do? We're quarantined, right? We're, we should be sheltering in place. If you're not, I got some mean things to say to you. Um, I myself am immune deficient. Um, so I try not to go anywhere. Going to the grocery store is actually very... Uh, High anxiety for me. I'm not. I'm not happy with it. I had to go to the grocery store yesterday. It was not fun for me. I had the mask on, I had gloves on, and then you got to wonder: Did you wash everything? Did you touch anything? You got to. You got to sit there and wonder because this is not. This is some scary stuff out there, guys. Anyway, let's take some pictures. Okay, so we got the camera back. You know, plugged back in. We got it on. Now we're gonna pose the figure. Now this is this is really cool. So this is the app, the camera, the Canon Camera Connect app for my phone now this is my my old phone and i was like you know what it still connects bluetooth wi-fi and this way i can provide you with a video this is pretty awesome i'm pretty excited about this so we're going to use this to do a lot of our triggering checking our focus so right now i'm not in frame so we're going to fix that and probably reposition him a little bit also if you haven't noticed when you watch my previous videos i'm always looking over my glasses that's because i'm getting blind um i've tried bifocals i hate them can't stand them. They, I can't, I, I'm used to reading like closer than what they allow and it just drives me nuts. So I look over my lenses a lot, which is why another reason I like using the camera app. I, I, can, I can zoom in, see if I got everything in focus. It's really nice. Uh, as my, my camera is kind of a cheaper camera, uh, I haven't found or really bothered to look for any kind of zooming feature when I'm going to look through the viewfinder and stuff. So that's probably on me, but let's, let's uh, pose this guy up. And uh, I also like to set this here because I can see while I'm posing it what kind of frame I got. So, first of all, we're going to raise this up a little bit more so he fits in the frame. And we want more light on him because you see he's really dark. And he's he's at the settings. Well, no, he's he's not. So we're going to change the aperture, or excuse me, the, the, the amount of time, the shutter speed. We're going to change the shutter speed. And that way we get a, a brighter picture. I don't usually work this on this fast of a shutter speed. In fact, usually I'm, I'm taking a lot slower pictures, but let me try something else real quick. Let me get out of here. And I'm using a variable ND filter. There's two different types of ND filters, and I'm not even entirely sure what, uh, what all the numbers are there. But uh, I got an ND1000 and then I got a variable ND that covers like multiple stops. Um, this is the variable. So let me try changing that and see if I can get the the uh, the contrast that I want. Um, let's see, so right now I'm set to minimum. Yeah, so we want to try that. That's going to be a little nicer. It's going to be basically what it's going to allow me to do is get more black out of this and still light up the figure. Uh, let's see how this works here. I do the fast shutter like that just because of the, the vape. You can't tell when you're going to get that vape. Now let's do a little backlighting behind them. Um, here's some crap from another shoot. I hung a figure left yesterday. So we're just going to get this light behind him. And it's going to kind of give him a little outline hopefully that's the yeah there we go so this is what i'm seeing right here 
you get this cool outline from them, which is really nice. And it's also going to bring out that vape more. Let me take a shot just like that. And uh, again, it's kind of foggy there, or uh, but uh, it's working out really well. We 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 did good. Ah, I'm tripping. This is my wife's room, by the way. This is her sewing room. This is where she likes to sew things. During the week when she's working, I get to take it over. There we go. That's going to be a good one. So with that vape, we got, uh, we'll, we'll show you the close-ups. We'll show you the close-ups. You know, I'll, I'll take pictures and show them to you. But with the vape, we got this awesome effect here. And uh, it's got a little definition to the smoke. I got to remember to back up. It's got a little definition to the smoke, but it's not too uh, wispy and willowy and stuff, which is awesome. It's just, you know, my vaping habit that I use to kick the cigarette habit. We got a whole new habit. And uh, it's, it's pretty cool, though. I, I love using this. Um, I do want to get some compressed air maybe and try that to get a kind of a thinner cloud. But right now... Let's take a shot of what's left in the room. And you barely got any of that. You can see it on the phone, at least I can. You can see that swirly, vapey stuff, but you don't really see it at all here. It's not picking it up. <clears throat> so we have that. It's pretty cool. Um, we're going to do some uh, close-up work here. Now that we got that full body. This is a custom stand he's on, by the way. It's really cool. I'll show you, remind me to show you guys that later. And if I don't, comment down below and tell me, hey, you forgot to show us. And that way, I'll get back to you on that. It's really cool. Uh, my buddy Dave Apro, German Beast Custom, he made it. He also did my custom uh, Jungle Hunter kit. Um, so it's really cool. Really cool. Now, I've done a lot of pictures of this guy, especially in this pose. I mean, his pose is very, it's just a very symbolic pose here. And here, we're not going really for the vape so much as we're going for just to kind of separate him from the background, kind of lighten up that background and give it something more of a texture than just a white sheet or blue sheet or whatever this is just a black queen size or king size bed sheet that's all this is uh, i think it's a king size which we don't have anymore we have uh it's still a king size bed but we got the one with the separate work ergonomics so you have to use 2xl twins so we don't use this anymore um works out really well gives me a nice clean background to work on and my wife uses this to hang her quilts on when I'm not using it, she's got a whole nother row of hangers here. She can hang her quilt on to take pictures of. So really cool. Now I want to get in closer than this, or maybe even change the angle up some more. Yeah, unlock the camera. Ooh, that's nice. Now this is where I might want to use a loom cube. I'm going to use one that I have here. It's already got a diffuser on it. So we're going to do that. I would love to be live streaming this right now so I can answer questions, but unfortunately, YouTube took it upon itself about a year ago to go, if you don't have a thousand subscribers, we're not gonna let you use your phone to, to live stream. And I don't have the equipment to use the camera, and of course, I'm using the camera. So, no live streaming. I can't answer live questions, I apologize. So we're gonna turn that on, just to brighten his face up a little bit. I don't want to bright it up too much. Just kind of. Hmm. I don't know if I like any of this yet. Let's uh, let's pull out a piece. Let's pull out a piece of equipment. Did I even leave it in the room? Don't mind me, just a little man-made reflector. This is the, the case that the loom cubes come in, which is pretty cool. 
I don't know if this is, yeah, this has got another loom cube in it. So what I'm gonna do is pull out this snoot. Pal I apologize for the camera shaking. So this is gonna go on the end of the loom cube. It just magnetically attaches, depending on, there we go. So it just magnetically attaches there. And it's gonna focus my light a bit more. Kinda, kinda like a flashlight would. Just to give me a different, I wanna try to get the eyes. but I don't want to light up all of them. I don't know if I like that. I've got his eyes, but I think he looks kind of funny. Right now I'm just taking some test shots, kind of get an idea of what we're looking at here. I don't know if I'm a fan for that angle at all. See, it's lighting up his face too much. I don't like that at all. Just a couple of little, you know, trial and error things. All right, so we're trying some different stuff here. We're just uh, trying different angles of light. We're gonna try uh, maybe some barn doors here to see if I can get the angle more to my liking. So it comes with all these kinds of cool attachments, little barn doors. And of course, I never put it on right the first time. You know it's right, because it snaps right, you know, just right in there. But, uh, Let's see if we can get this lighting where we want it. Still a little bright, but I might be able to fix some of this in post too. Uh, so we got that there with the Alder Predator. There you go. You gotta save your batteries on those. They last about, I find they last about an hour, hour and a half. Um, so that's me taking some shots of this Elder Predator. If you guys wanna see more of this stuff, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, really, that's that's all I got for right now. I'm probably going to continue taking some shots. We'll show you some of the shots that we got from this guy. I hope you guys enjoy them. Also, be sure to check out my Instagram. At, in, Instagram is at, at Invader Moz. See that down there at the bottom of the video. You check that out. You see a lot of the pictures I've been doing. I always, as of like the past few months anyway, I've always put down, of course, the camera, the lens I used, uh, what f-stop I used, what shutter speed I used. Um, I don't always put down whether or not I use the ND filter. When I first got my ND filter, you'll see that I listed it. So if you go looking through them and you look at the information and when you first see that ND filter about probably about a month ago now, um, you can see the difference in the photos come in with the ND filter. It's really neat. 
So it's definitely worth it to check out that evolution. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And uh, we'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh